Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so if you would please subscribe and hit that bell. Also like, comment, share, all that would be great. I am also an author. Uh, I've written two books in a series about, uh, it's an action adventure uh, story about twin flames. Um, this is your reading for the week of July 28th through August 4th. This is the uh, Celtic cross spread. I read it differently than others, so I'll explain as I go. Uh, I forgot to say, if you wish to purchase my books, um, the links to, the, to those are on my wall here on YouTube, as well as links to uh, trailers um, in regards to both books. Okay, so what we have here for you, Virgo, this week, at the heart of everything, um, it looks like you're trying to become the Empress. You want to be the Empress. This is um, uh, fertility, abundance, bounty, um, a, a, a lovely uh, energy. Now, she's, she's not right side up. That means she's a possibility. The fact that she is a major arcana card means that um, it, this is something on your divine path. I mean, the, the, the divine blueprint is the reason why we come to this planet, to this plane of existence. And, she, and becoming the empress is part of that for you. And this is exactly what you're trying to do. Okay, but because she's upside down, she, you're not quite there yet, okay? This is pregnancy, this is abundance, this is feminine beauty, this is all, everything that you're trying to create here, okay? Now, the forces that are directly affecting you trying to become the Empress is the Seven of Discs. Now, the Seven of Discs, or the Seven of Coins, or Pentacles, this is Earth energy, okay? This is our health and our wealth. And this also re represents projects and stuff that require patience. Like, the main message for me is um, a garden requires regular care, okay? And what this is saying is that you need to be patient and keep going. You cannot rush your divine blueprint. Everything happens in divine timing when it comes to your divine blueprint. But this is saying, don't forget to weed your garden water it, keep going, okay? Now, at the root of everything for you this week is um, water energy. This is emotion. Um, you're looking at the past, okay? You're looking at um, fond memories. You're having some nostalgia. You're probably seeing the past uh, through rose-colored glasses. Now, here's the thing. Y you can't be nostalgic for too long because you get stuck there. Okay. Also, the past is the past. What you need to focus on more is your future. Okay. Now, the energies that are moving out of your life this week, Virgo, is kind of a message for you. This is the divine message that you you were uh, manifesting what you wanted into your life, and now you're not. And I think it has something to do with not uh, continuing on. You may be getting a little impatient. You're looking at the past where things were better at some point that you think. And so um, because of that, you're manifesting what you desire uh, isn't working as well as it used to, which is why this card is uh, the energy which is on its way out of your life this week, Virgo. But because it's right side up, it said that it, this is saying that you were doing this, okay? Um... Okay, they want me to tell you this is has a Mercury influence, and you may have been manifesting what you wanted through Mercury retrograde. That's interesting. I haven't heard that one before. Okay, so the next two cards that we have are future cards as a reader for me. Okay, this is a more immediate future, whereas this is going to happen a little further out. Now, this is also a major arcana card. This is right side up. This is going to happen. This is not just a possibility. But I am not feeling that this is toxicity or a passionate relationship for you. Uh, of course, it could be. But what I'm feeling in, in this message right now is what this is, is um, creation without any regard for the result. Okay? You may be trying to create something and you haven't really thought about what it's going to create. Okay? So... 
it has something to do with this magician I'm feeling um, okay so you may have manifested something that you didn't really think too much about and now it's coming and um, so you're being told to please continue to weed and garden uh, weed and water your garden okay so um also I have, I have to say that when you think of the past you if I didn't say don't stay nostalgic for too long because whatever you think comes into being okay so this is probably what you're doing you may be manifesting something from the past that's already over and now you're gonna have this we're we're a lot more powerful than we think okay Okay, so for a more immediate future for you, you've got the Three of Wands, which is a fire energy. This is passion. This is the, the, the fire of life, okay? The, you've got the symbol of the sun over here. You had that somewhere else. Where, where was the sun? So, oh, it's right here on the Six of Cups as well. So the, the sun is the, the happiest card in the deck, okay? Now what this is, is it says virtue. This is right side up. This is definitely going to happen. This is you applying your will and your energy to a specific goal, okay? This is the inspiration that gets a person moving and creating, and not just just moving and creating with gusto, okay? So all of a sudden you're going to get it, and you're going to start creating like, like nobody's business. <laughs> All right, so the next card that we have is your um, hope card, all right? Now, this is uh, air energy. This is swords. This, it could be Lib Libra, Gemini, um, Aquarius, okay? Now, you see that it's upside down, which is I'm thinking that you're hoping that this won't happen. Of course, when you look at this card uh, right side up, it says ruin, and it is backstabbing. This is the unhappy ending. This is, uh, you know, this could represent lessons and stuff. Look, there's the sun symbol again. Okay, happiness, which is the sun, is, is embedded in these cards. They're letting you know that you're, you're trying to get your happiness here, okay? You want, you want your lessons to be over because that's what tens are. Tens are always the ending, and um, these can represent lessons, okay? Like this could be like 10 weeks, 10 days, uh, 10 lessons in themselves. It could be 10 years. Um, of something and this I see at the bottom here I think that I think that's Gemini but these scales up here tell me Libra okay and that is depth that is an air sign can you see the scales right there okay now it's balance that's gonna bring you happiness okay so you're just I think for as a hope card you're hoping that all this um, these lessons are over with now here is your uh, environment card, and uh, you, you've got a, a progression here. You've got eight, nine, and ten. And even though they're not the same suit, that this is telling me that what you're what you're hoping for is almost over. Okay, it's coming, right? But right now, what you've got is um, the nine of cups uh, in reverse as your environment. What's going on with you right now? Okay. So when you look at it this way, you'll see that that's happiness. It, your, your happiness is coming. It's manifesting right now. It's just not quite there. That's what the cards mean when they're upside down is that this energy is there. It is manifesting. It is just not fully brought into reality from the ether. Okay, now cups are emotion. Okay, so this has to do with a lot. You want emotional happiness. This is when you're almost at the finish line, okay? And when you're feeling joy, uh, laughter, you, you know, you're, you're almost there, okay? That's, that's what you, um, that's what's coming. And it's so cool that this is what it means, that you're almost at the finish line. And when you see it reversed like this, uh, it's telling me that you're almost, almost at the finish line. <laughs> it's the spirit it can, can be a jokester sometimes there. They make jokes all the time. Okay, so the next card that we have is the eight. See, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we are almost there. Now, this is your fear. Okay, now this is sword energy. This is logic. Um, you're afraid that something's going to interfere. There may be uh, a Gemini involved with this. 
um, there may be a, a progression. See the, how this is a progression? It's 8, 9, and 10. That's a progression. And these swords, to me, look like a progression of steps. Okay? So, since you're at a 9 here and you're almost, almost there, almost done, I think what you are fearing is that you are not almost there. Okay? And that something is going to get in your way and stop you. The next card that we have is your outcome for this reading. And this is um, the three of discs. Now discs are earth energy, has to do with your money, has to do with your wealth. Okay, now what this means is that something's going to work. That's the card's name, works. All right, this, this is the manifestation itself. Okay, you're going to be at the beginning stages of manifesting again. Okay, since the, since the divine is telling you, you haven't been manifesting, and now probably since you saw this reading, you're going to go to the beginning and start manifesting again, and you're going to do it correctly so that you can, you're going to take care of yourself. Now notice that you've got two threes here, okay? Actually, you've got three. All right, so what I would do at this point, see that's three and three and three now after this reading or you could put it on pause or something I if I were you I would Google angel number three 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 that has a message for you everybody should do their own research so what you pull up might be different from someone else which is why I don't tell people what those numbers mean but this is a right side up card this means this is definitely going to happen for you you are going to start manifesting again and it's going to affect your health and your wealth and your earthly life this could be a business this could be some sort of commercial uh, transaction but I'm thinking what this is is creation this there's a lot of orange going on here orange is the color of creation you see you've got there's there's orange here there's orange here there's orange here and at the bottom of the deck, an underlying um, energy for you, an underlying message. You have a whole lot of orange here, too. That is the Queen of Wands. This is you uh, just being in your power, okay? This this is creation. This is beauty. This, this is you just being, uh, pardon my expression, the shit, in full control of your power. Look at her shining. She looks, re re she looks relaxed, but look at her power, okay? So you're going to come back into your power. This is what you want. And, and see, look, I'm being shown here. At the tip of her wand here is the pine cone, which is the al uh, alchemic, uh, alchemical or alchemic symbol for the pineal gland. And the pineal gland, um, you want to look up that too, okay? This is that, the pineal gland is what helps you manifest. It helps you see... Um, into the ethers. Now, how much control do you have over this this week? I determined that out of the number of uh, major arcana to minor, and you have, for major arcana, you have one, two, three. Okay, so you are mostly in control here, Virgo. And what what is the divine here? It's part of your divine blueprint, which is the reason why you are here. You are here to become the empress and be fertile and creative. You are here to manifest what you are desiring through bringing things in from the ether into this physical reality. And this is uh, some sort of, it may be a warning to don't create things without really thinking about it. Okay? But I don't think that's what you're going to do. Uh, probably because you just saw this reading. It could be something else. But you're going to go back to the beginning. You're going to start making it work. And you are almost there. You are almost, almost there. Because it is totally possible to go to a 3 right back to a 9. Okay? You don't always have to go through all these steps. It just depends on how well you do it. Okay? So that was your reading for this week, Virgo. Uh, see you next time.